Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy, and we're going to go right into it with in the chapel. We're going to read 1 Timothy 6 6. Um, now, there's great gain in godliness with contentment. So, um, as you can see, I'm trying to be happy with what I've got, happy with the situation, and, and so yeah. Okay, that's my whole goal for this week. All right, we're going to go into Totally Hooked because I do have two things. And one, uh, I got some yarn in from Mary Maxim. I had a, a cow a crochet along, and um, I ordered some yarn for it. And yeah, the cow started on the 15th, and I didn't have it until, hmm, I don't know, maybe the 18th. It finally came. So I did that opening, and I'm going to pop that in right here so you can see. So, this is being recorded on Friday, because um, I have to work, but I finally got my Mary Maxson thing, and I want to see what's in it, so, yeah. I ordered some yarn, and then that crochet of the month kit, which we'll get to see. So, I don't know what order this is going to come out in, but, oh, those are pretty. Oh, those are pretty. Oh, and this must be the kit. Okay. Oh, I don't want to put in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. And all the lovely stuff they send with it. So, okay. Empty. Alright. So, first we have the kit. And hat, mittens, headband. One size fits most. Um, oh, it's cute. So, there's the package itself. It's got six skeins of yarn in there. I don't know if you can see this is a almost a tan color this is gray and then there's blue and white I probably should take those out for you guys to see them pretty good um, I don't even know what kind it is let's see here Lana maxi duct tape so and that's a pretty blue it's darker than it's showing up on the camera white and again, it's that Lana. Let's see if I can get a good. There we go. Delicate. I think it's supposed to mean delicate, but so this is the gray, and there's two skeins of that, and we've got two skeins of this, and they just say lot number and color number. It doesn't have a. Just this color, 1453. So if you wanted to look that up, Lanamax, this one, the tan is 1453, the blue is 12, ooh, there we go, 1215, the white is 150, <laughs> and the gray is 28. So, um, yeah, it doesn't really say names on there, it just has color numbers. And then in the front, of course, is the pattern so and the headband that's not shown on the front is right there that's cute 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 so I will be working these up and seeing how they go um, and again I'll let you know what's good what's bad what's not so good and I'll put all this back in here in a minute but it does give me something to work on yeah, and I love this. It's not a DK weight. I, I don't know. It's awfully thick. Maybe just a worsted weight. It's a little bit thicker than I'm normally used to working with. So, but I also purchased two other things. And, yeah. So, I am learning online that a lot of things are done in grams. Okay, but we will see how this goes because of the way it's labeled. It says a shawl and a cake. And I have that shawl that I was doing that crochet along. So we'll see. It says shawl and a cake. Um, it's 150 grams. 481 yards. That's pretty substantial. So 440 meters if you do meters. Um, 5 point 
three ounces. I think this one is the same. Yeah, it's the same. It's 481 um, yards. And this one is pretty. Now these have sparkle in them. Okay, I don't know if it's showing up. It's really not. They have a little bit of sparkle to them. And that's why I got them. This is a, a blue and white and very grays. Let me see. I've lost my white sheet of paper. Let's just put all this invoice and stuff that they did with it. Behind it. Whoop, how about in front of it? Maybe make it pop off of there a little bit. So there's that one. It is blues, grays. Some of the grays has like a purpley hue. So let me see if I can. Yeah, it's not going to really. Let me see if I can. No, nah, it doesn't really make. Now nah, it just makes it look bland. But it's not. It's got different colors and all that in there. You can see it probably better with this. Just not true to color because of the lighting in here. So, and this one. It has um, greens, and this is Lion's brand, you know, and it's got purples and pinks and some greens. So, yeah, and like I said, this isn't really doing it justice going like this. Even if I hold the white up underneath it, it's not really showing it justice. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the sparkle that's in it is it's plied with, I don't know if you can see that kind of is blurry let me there you go there you go okay see you can see the little sparkle and blues and let's get this look at those that's better with the color not great though um let's see if you can see the blue the sparkly there we go you can see it's a little sparkly i don't know why i'm doing sparkly right now i just am so there's the blues whites grays and you can see the camera try to adjust the color um, not doing it justice. It's beautiful. It's more of a gray, purpley, dark blue hues. So, yeah, I am so excited to work with those. So, um, I actually am looking for different shawl patterns. I'm supposed to be doing the, the crochet along, but I've already made one, and it started like 15th, and this is the 18th, and yeah, we'll see. Um, so, and that shawl pattern is one that I can stop whenever I run out. So, yeah, but, and the rest of it is just invoice. Oh, they sent me a, oh, that's pretty. They're trying to sell me other stuff, but look at that. That's from Mary Maxim. Mary Maxim, there you go. And that's, it says available in other colors on our website. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think I've got enough to do though, just saying. So, okay, that's the Mary Maxim. I will update you um, on how it comes along in the podcast. Okay, so one of those that you saw was um, this yarn right here. And yes, I caught up and did my cowl and I actually have it done. So I'm pretty fast with the crochet, but this is the virus shawl and I did it as a shawl and it's beautiful. It, it really is. I love it. Um, and I keep in mind that I am getting a collection of things together. I even wove in my ends, guys. Eh, sorry. I even wove in my ends on this. And the next thing I'm going to show you. So, yeah. I'm totally done with them. Um, I'm getting a collection together for Christmas gifts, birthday gifts. Um... And that's why I've started doing these. And this one, I wish the camera would pick this up. This is greens to pinks to purples to mauves. And then back to really dark greens. And it just, it looks beautiful. Let me see if I can. I'm trying to see if I can get the whole thing. And just kind of. I'm looking for a white sheet of paper. Let's see here. At this one. <laughs> Maybe this will work. I don't know that it'll make it true to color. That's a dark green and it goes down to the pinks and the mauves. It goes to a purple first and then the pink is the lightest and then it's purpley down here. It Honestly, I haven't been able to get good pictures of it. It also has sparkle. I don't know if you can see that or not. 
and it's just one of those things that yeah there it goes maybe a little bit of sparkle um it's one of those things that you're like dang that turned out really good so um yeah that was one of the cakes in the in a, a shawl and a cake that was this one so the other thing that I did, and I don't know if this counts as totally hooked, but, and you guys are probably tired of seeing it, but I finally figured out what I was going to do with it, so I did it. Um, I made this huge practice one before I got the thing, and I decided that I needed it to be a poncho. I needed a poncho for a certain person, and this pattern is just amazing. So what I did is I made a shawl and then and i made it huge it it's more rows than are on that shawl um oh my goodness how many uh there's probably 15 or 16 rows on the big one and on this one here there is or not rows but these things um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine of each. When I'm saying rows, I don't mean rows. I mean this section right here where you start the pattern repeat. And I'm not holding that up high enough. Um, right here. So from here to here is one pattern repeat. Um, so I've got... The pattern repeats I've only got like nine in this one and I have 16 in this one <coughs> oh, excuse me and the reason that I'm telling you this is because I made it huge and then I made it into a poncho and all I did was stitch this together and this looks just like and I did the stitching with the actual color of whatever one I was on. Okay, so that is actually stitched. Alright. And when you put it on, you can't tell any different from that. And the back of it. Oh, missed an end there. Where it's not stitched. It literally really looks the same. Um, I'm really happy with it. I did leave an opening. Now, I wove in my ends, but I haven't trimmed them off yet. So, uh, I left an opening. <clears throat> and it will fold down a little bit around your neck. And it looks really cute. So, this is a Christmas gift. And I now have a Venus, or virus poncho. And a virus shawl. So, those are two things that are going in for the Christmas gifts. Um, I think that's all I have for Totally Hooked. Um, yeah. But in the basket, now I've still got the Infinity. I I have done all that in a week. Um, I did that shawl in like two days. Plus we had bad weather. I ended up working again. Remember I said I didn't think I was supposed to have to. Yeah, I ended up working again. <laughs> it's a mess. So, anyway, um, the Infinity cow, uh, Shawl Cow is it's just an Infinity Scarf. It's still going, and it's what I work on. It's my go-to when I don't have anything else on the thing. But, um, <clears throat> I've still got this to do. Okay? And that's from that kit. And I still have this cake that I'm going to make into a shawl. This one, I've actually been on a search for a pattern, but I haven't found a pattern that I like for it. So, yeah, that's the only thing. So, that's what I've got in the basket. On the wheel, I am still waiting on my delivery. It was supposed to be here last week. I'm pretty sure the roads had something to do with it, but I also have noticed that I have a billing address and a shipping address, and one of the little things has my billing address that it's being delivered to and one says that it's being delivered to my shipping address so I don't know where it's going and the one that has the billing ad the shipping address on it didn't have the numbers on it so I don't know if the place I ordered it from screwed up the label or not 
just saying. So, anyway, yeah, we'll move on because I don't have anything on the wheel other than that mohair and I'm still working on it. It just gets everywhere. It's fuzzy and I'm slow. I need to get it done. Uh, hopefully, I will make that my goal this week to get it off the wheel so that when those other fibers come, I can get those on the wheel. Okay. Um, in the dye pots is a new section that I told you I was going to add. So, y'all saw me work up that uh, red thing the two art bats that I wasn't real happy with so I wasn't happy with the colors either but I put them in the dye pot and I actually put up a video took you guys along um, I'm not gonna put that in here it'll make it long and if you've already seen it it would be boring again so this is my two skeins yep and they're not exactly alike. I think I ended up with 184 of this one, 186 of this one or something. So they're not exactly alike. But I do think that I could use them together in something as long as I did it stripey. So, yeah. I don't know what they're going to be yet, but it'll be something. Um, yeah, I think that's... Okay, we got all the totally hooked oh and by the way for that shawl and that i made that virus i kind of played yarn chicken and i did modify the pattern because i couldn't get the last row their way out this is all i had left um i modified it and put just a single um crochet stitch a, a row of single crochet along the bottom it looks finished nobody knows it's good all right rj's world he's been freezing oh he uh, literally has just been taking care of his uncle's cattle, um, riding horses. He was out in the cold. Uh, yeah, I worried about him for a couple of days. You know, we talked about frostbite and stuff. And so, yep, he's just doing his cowboy thing. There has many rodeos. Everything's been shut down for 10 days. Um, we got probably six to eight inches of snow, which in Oklahoma, that's a lot for us. Um, what complicated it is we got an ice storm beforehand. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, we were, what were they say, uh, testing the power grid. Yeah, there was times that they did rolling blackouts. Um, water issues. Um, we had one sink that froze up the hot water, and that was it and it thawed out the next day so it wasn't anything i think it might just be a spot that's not insulated right or something but that's the only thing that we had um we got the walls behind us oh i guess that's in the farmhouse we'll we'll move on into the, in the farmhouse um we got the walls sealed we just have to put the trim on and the kitchen uh, trim on paint the ceiling and change the light i don't like this light so yeah and then the, this kitchen dining room area will be done. Yay! So, um, with me working, roommate is on overtime too. So, it's kind of gotten crazy here. I don't know why. It's just like crazy, crazy. Um, I will add one other thing in the farmhouse is Moose. Um, I know he's done this before, but he got sick. And he is in laying on his thing. He didn't eat. Last night, he was really wobbly and just the so um but this morning he was up around a little bit he wags his tail perks his ears up and he's eating he's back to eating um he didn't eat for a day or so and i think that made him weak i don't know what his deal is he had a little bit of diarrhea called the vet put him on the vet put him on an antibiotic because he said that and i gotta go get warmer today but all the places were closed he said start warming him he said he might have you know worms or whatever so we're gonna warm him um, he said it could be a hundred different things. He's not running a fever. Um, so he put him on an antibiotic because he said he could have a gastrointestinal, uh, infection. Don't know, but he's doing better today. I was brought to my knees yesterday with him. So yeah, he's my baby. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> But uh, I was worried and scared yesterday with him. Um, there was no reason for it. He acted fine up until he had one bout of diarrhea. And then after that, he just went 
not moving off the couch, not eating, but he got up at two o'clock this morning and he drank water on his own and he ate for me, he ate, um, hot dog. <laughs> I know it's not good for him, but then I scrambled some eggs and all that kind of stuff and he's eating. So he's not eating his dog food, which his dry dog food, but he'll get back to that. He's only been sick you know, probably less than 24 hours. I came in yesterday from work. I got off at noon and probably got here, I don't know, about 20, 30, maybe 40, 15 minutes till one or so. And he'd had diarrhea. And then from there, it just progressed. And so we're not even 24 hours in and he's doing so much better. Um, he's not back to himself yet. He's not jumping around with me yet. But he does go out and go potty and pee, and he gets up and drinks water when he needs it, and um, he's eating. So, I'm, he just worried me, like he got real weak and wobbly, and I was like, oh my gosh. Roommate was like, uh, okay, we might have a problem here. But there was no indication that he had a problem, except for that little bit of diarrhea. That was it. And I asked Moose, I said, what did you eat, boy? But after that, he just felt bad, laid around, didn't eat, didn't do, so, yeah. But, and if y'all know, he, he's a dog that does this every once in a while, and I don't know if he just gets upset tummy, and he's a weenie about it, or, which is funny because he is a dachshund. <laughs> but I'm feeling better about him recovering. Um, last night, I was really scared and upset, but today I'm better I got up every two hours and checked on him last night just like a baby so but yeah I think he's on the road to recovery again I do have to get him wormed again they said that you know there's certain things like hook worms and all that stuff and he says I don't know where he'd pick them up at but there's no telling so um I think that is all for today I know it's kind of it's a lot but it's not kind of thing so but, yep, I'm going to oh, run out and I have my list of grocery shopping to do. Yep, roommate and I sat and made a list last night. Um, we've got all that put together. And i got to do laundry. i still got to make my bed. Don't tell anybody, though. So, yeah, i got chores to do. But I'm going to get my stuff done and probably be on the search for a pattern for this one so yeah but and I'm going to start I have people in mind for that one that gray poncho I know exactly who I'm giving it to for Christmas so um, I'm gonna start labeling them uh, that way I don't have to who is this for again you guys know me too well it's like yeah I make it and then I give a lot of stuff away so that is my goal this year is to have everyone from my kids to anyone who means anything in my life to have a piece of me and something that I've made and I'm gonna give them all away at Christmas so all right that is this week I will see you guys next time and thanks for watching bye